As you recall in the previous training video, there are three types of tasks you can add to your project. There's the basic task, then the summary task, which summarizes a group of tasks, like for example, as you recall in the previous training video, I've got the research phase, which is a summary task that summarizes these three tasks or basic tasks here. So when we research, we'll be investigating the software, searching the web, interviewing subject matter experts. In this training video, I'm going to show you how you can add the project summary task, which is a task name that summarizes the project's goal. So to go ahead and add the project summary task, come up here, click on the File tab, go down to Options, come over here, click on the Advanced category, and then scroll down to find under the uh, Display Options for this project heading or in this section, and check Show Project Summary Task. Then go ahead and click Okie Dokie, and it does a couple of things. Okay, first off, you get task zero. That's the summary or the goal for this project listed here as the project summary task. And then it's got the duration. Now this duration we're going to leave alone because it's the summary of all these tasks down below. And you can see over here in the Gantt chart, you've got a gray bar here. That will expand as the tasks grow. You know, if we have tasks that take longer than one day, whether it's out three days or four days, it'll actually measure it to the longest task or when all the tasks are linked together to the entire project here that are made up of all these tasks. So where does it pull? Let me go ahead and it's ghosting here. When I click somewhere, a little pop-up stays there and it doesn't remove itself until I click off somewhere in any case. So where does it pull this uh, project summary from? Well, it's from the advanced properties. As you recall in an earlier training video, we came up here and we clicked on the file tab, went down to info. Well, that's the default. You just need to come over here and click on the project information drop down arrow to advanced properties. On the summary tab, that's where it's pulling it from. So any changes that I make here, and I go from spiffy to spiff, and I add some comments, add something with a happy face, and I click okie dokie, and I come back up here and click on the file tab to take me back to the front stage view. You can see it updates the title or the goal for the project, the project summary task from spiffy to spiff, and then plus in the indicator column here, I added some notes, didn't I? So I said add something, then I had a happy face. If I want to change that, just double click on it, go to the notes tab, and then, well, I don't want to get rid of the happy face. We'll go ahead and leave it there and, and uh, just say awesome project. Click okie dokie, hover over it, gives you the pop-up, add something, happy face, awesome project, great. You can also make changes here, and what you make changes here will also update the advanced properties, the uh, title field. So I can come up here in the entry bar, and let me arrow over and type in Y, hit enter. So now it's back to Spiffy Software Training Manual. So if I come back up here, File, to Info, Project Information, Advanced Properties, we're back to something Spiffy. Sweet. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.